Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and Best Fiends for sponsoring today's episode. Hey everybody, before we start this episode, we got an exciting announcement in the world of the tripod. So if you listen on YouTube, we have some new channels. That's right. You Can Sit With Us is going to be on its own YouTube channel and Guilty Pleasures will be on its own YouTube channel and Tripod will stay here on its channel. So there's going to be three different channels for your three different shows. This is an exciting way to support the shows you love, but there's more Guilty Pleasures. You Can Sit With Us. Two great shows. Who's going to get more subscribers. We're going to check back in one month, and whichever show has more subscribers gets to dump a bowl of spaghetti on top of the heads of the other hosts. And that does mean if somehow you can sit with us, we're to surpass the tripod in general. Oh, wow. They would be able to dump spaghetti on our heads. Or if Guilty Pleasures gets more subscribers than you can sit with us, then me, Garrick, and Kelsey get to dump spaghetti on my lovely fiance. Really exciting options. No matter what happens, people will get spaghetti on their heads. That's a, a guarantee. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a spaghetti. What do they say in, in Italy? <laughs> a spaghetti time. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for now. If you listen on your podcast apps, nothing's going to change. But hey, you know, you can look at our faces every now and then. It's pretty cool. Come on over to YouTube. So you can find the URLs for our new YouTube channels in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to You Can Sit With Us, Guilty Pleasures, and keep on subscribing here. And we'll see you every week for the rest of our lives. And of course, a reminder, as always, this episode is brought to you by Clingsberry Crunch. Thank you so much to Clingsberry Crunch uh, now with extra raspberry gunk. There was a kid in front of us. This is at the Remy Wolf concert. The, other day. the thing he had was really funny that he thought he was going to come into a concert with this. Oh, me? No, no. The kid in front of us. Oh, I missed had, this. He had a full grinder, yeah, like a oh, weed right. grinder, like a fucking brick. That's so dumb. And she's like, you can't bring this in. He's like, oh, why? He's like, well, it's first a, of all, yeah. it's clearly weed. And second of all, like. You can't even smoke out of this. What is this? Why would you bring it? And third your of all, grinder. it's like a metal brick. It's yeah. a hockey puck yeah. metal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that could fuck somebody up. Even just taking the top off, it's like pointed. Like, just in general, weapon. it's just like, why would that be the thing you have anyway? Yeah. Like of all the things. My to-go grinder. We smoked a joint, as you would, on the way in. And it was so funny because I, I had a lighter in my pocket. Yeah. And she's like, the lighter, you don't have anything to smoke. Like, you have any cigarettes on you? Like, no. It's like, do you have anything to smoke? It's like, not anymore. She's like, <laughs> and then she was like, you're, smart. <laughs> you're I was like, smart. I was like, yeah, we smoked it on the way here. We're not trying to bring weed yeah. into a college venue. That's Come so on. Funny. It was uh, during the concert. So we were at the very, very back. This is, we saw Remy Wolf uh, down by USC the other day. Yeah. We love Remy. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, we stayed far in the back of the venue because we didn't want to be all near all the little all the kids nasty. on Molly yeah, right. yeah. breathing their little Kobe germs. And I didn't want to like old up their fun. That's a great point. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm tall. saying? Yeah. Do you, I'm, feel, I'm huge. do you feel like you're now to the point of aging where you're going to old up fun? Well, especially this. Remy Wolf is like, that it's is a cool young vibe. This is so cool. This young. puts the Z in Gen Z. You know uh -oh. what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. it's almost like the whatever the double a whatever that gen a is like yeah it's like it was young young huh. we were watching people taking molly for the first time we were watching young lovers making out on the dance floor That's oh awesome. my gosh um, so <laughs> there was core some, memories we're standing very far i mean by the way yeah core memory we were watching people have the best night of their life the best night of their life <laughs> we were watching people have like i was like oh my god this this was like when i went to cut copy like you are having a night that you will remember and talk about mm. forever. Yeah. You'd be like, and then during one of the songs, this guy came out and he played trumpet, but it was like the fucking best tone <laughs> you've ever heard in <laughs> yeah. your life. And there were these two, two girls who were dancing and they were just having the greatest they time of their dancing. life. They weren't just dancing. They were I, like, I had maybe six feet of no one in front of me, right? I'm sitting at the end of our group. They were, like strut up plant right directly in front of me with another five feet of nobody <laughs> and then start wiggling and oh, rapping wow. like nobody's business. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, I guess we're dancing. <laughs> like <laughs> I didn't, there was nothing, no other choice I had other than to just accept their energy. Right. And then there was this one guy. That's who I was thinking. And of. he miles. Oh, huh? have you ever seen a guy jump really high? <laughs> <laughs> this I'm guy talking, was jumping high. I'm talking though, jumping really high. And, How high and, are we talking? And, and only one jump at a time. Like, okay. 
I'm not like, not yeah, like, I feel like that's not not like, not, not like jump, jump around just go, and jump really big. Here's yes. what would happen. He would be just breaming with potential energy yeah. and he'd be vibrating like, yeah. yeah. And then when something really dope happened, but it wasn't like on like, oh, the beat drops. It was just when he couldn't take it anymore. He would just yeah, jump, and and jump, flail his body so high, so high, so high. Whoa. And like, every time it happened. It hyped us the fuck up. Of we, course. we were like, fuck yeah. And then near the end of the concert, <laughs> he showed everybody he actually could break dance and he broke dance for a minute. That's awesome. And that was dope too. But I was like on a concrete floor. The this jumper guy can is break going dance? to be <laughs> hurt. He he yeah. his knees are blown. His shoulders are gonna... <laughs> I was like, this kid's knees still work. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine go. jumping like that and not getting really hurt. One jump. <laughs> Puts one me jump out for all my whole Sunday. One jump ahead of the, the jumping. Line. One jump <laughs> one is swing. all it ahead takes. Of sword. I hit a sword. Well, well, welcome to the tripod, forward. everybody. Thanks so much for That's being everything. here. We also okay. So Jack, our our <laughs> resident resident homie, Jack McGill, yeah. Mister Tapman himself. He's a real music junkie. Yeah, he likes mm -hmm. it. He loves music. He Jack and I stuff, uh, yeah. will kind of. You know, trade water cooler chat, what you listening to. You know, Zach, uh. you're pretty hip. You're up on stuff. And I go, yeah, Jack, what's up? So he he said, hey, Zach, you know Joe Keery from The Stranger Things? Yeah, dude. He, uh, and I said, yeah, I know Joe Keery. Not personally. I've watched him. Yeah. He's uh, Steve. Him. He's about he, uh, he has a band mm -hmm. called DJ O. Yeah. DJ O. And he's got a new album. Mm -hmm. And he recommended it to us. And he's like, you know, kind of reminds me of Harry's house if Harry's house was bitter. Because he knows I'm a big Harry Styles fan. Yeah. So we put it on. <laughs> this album cannot sound less like Harry's house. Oh. It sounds like huh. it's very Devo, a little David Byrne. It, yeah, say like David very, Bowie, David Byrne, Devo. Which, yeah. again, so great, it, it sounded cool. Great combo. We liked it. But not, not Harry's house. So then I was yeah. thinking, <sighs> Jack knows stuff. He knows stuff. He knows music. Yeah. He wouldn't just be throwing around this phrase willy-nilly. Yeah. And we wondered, what if Harry's house is just slang for like, oh, this album's dope. So like, Miles, I love your outfit. It's so Harry's house. Oh, That's yeah. Harry's house, yeah. This is slang. Yo, that Dude, that show last night was so Harry's house. That was Harry's oh, house. Oh, this new flavor of Red Bull. Yeah. So fucking Harry's house. I like that. I, honestly, no, you really? Because I think the orange Red Bull is not Harry's house. No. Oh, I was talking about the <laughs> tropical. That is Harry's house yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 House. What do you guys think about is this? Is this one still here from last week? Yeah. That one, yeah. Do you think it tastes better or worse? You can't drink it. There's can't or be. shouldn't? I don't know if you shouldn't. Chant. You could. You could try it. How much do you think can grow in a Red Bull? How much organic material do you think is in there? I think it'll ferment. But it's been open. It's oxidized. Oh, you good think point. It ferments? <laughs> Couldn't ferment. It needs to be sealed. It probably yeah. could ferment. Yeah, right. But it's, I guess that's also just rot. Could just rot. I don't know if it would rot. It probably it probably can't. It's so, so many chemicals. Well, it's got there. my germs in it, so it definitely has oh. something that can because so I sipped it. Little Keith stem cells yeah. growing in <laughs> stem cells. <laughs> <laughs> so then Becky says, did you know that Harry's house is based on a Japanese artist? And so we looked him up, Her, uh, Hiromi Hasono, and he has an album called Hasomo House. And we listened to it. It sounds also nothing like Harry's house. Interesting. So I don't think that anyone knows what Harry's house sounds like. No one's listening And then to we, I think we, did, didn't we determine that it just meant genre fluid? Right. That's, oh, yeah. But like. Is his album really genre fluid? It's it's fluidish. Yeah, doesn't sound like every genre is represented. The world is starting to turn on Harry. <sighs> the doors are closing. How do you know? In. Because of the "Don't worry, darling" stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I that mean, makes I, it funny. tough. I don't think I'm ready to have this conversation yet. All right, no, I get that. Now I like <laughs> Harold. I think his music's good. Do you Herald think his Styles. name is Harold? It must be. It must be Harold Style. Or it could be Harrison. <laughs> you just blew. My fucking brain. It's either Harold or Harrison. Yeah. I assumed he was just born Harry. You think no, he's yeah, probably I mean, born maybe. without any hair like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's Whoa. the tripod you come here for, baby. <laughs> Harold. Harold or Harrison? Now, guys, what do I we think it is? Have you I ever met? I think it's Harold. I okay. think it's Harold. What do you got? I have something to admit. Oh, boy. This week I came in and I had a great episode planned. And then I and then we did it. Sometimes we record two. 
And I thought, uh-oh, this one coming up right here. Not a thought no plan. in my brain. You don't have any plans. Nothing. Which is rare for you. Which is rare for me because I normally come in with a spreadsheet. Yeah. Zach's going to say this. It's scripted in a way. Yeah. But it's built like a choose your it's own It's a adventure. decision tree. It's a decision tree. Yeah. He's Miles is prepared for any eventuality. I'm prepared for any and all sort of, yeah, things to happen. Now, yeah. <laughs> I thought, who better than to give me the podcast segments than the people? The people. The people. Miles loves spoke. democracy. I love democracy, and I'm here to say, let's go Tar Heels. Try guys. Who are the Tar Heels? They're a sports team. It's a sports team. Anyway, I reached out Car to the people. Carolina, South Carolina. And I asked in North Carolina. North and Carolina. I asked UNC at Chapel Hill. And I said, okay, everyone, don't tell the guys, but I need segments for an episode of the tripod we're recording in five minutes. And now you're lucky that you mm -hmm. did this because when I was peeing, yeah. I saw that. You saw this. And I would have I would have called you out. You would have called me out. Yeah. But I'm glad no one told you. Because if they had told you, it would have ruined the surprise. You want to see if anyone tagged me? You want to see if there are any tweeted? snitches? If there's any narcs, I'm blocking them. Blocking all narcs. Let's see if there's any snitches. If any snitch, don't snitch to my boss. Guys? About how it, did they tag you? No one tagged me. That's the Miles Nation at work. Did Good anybody work. retweet it? Uh, no. Three so, retweets. Three retweets. Okay. We 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 tweets. We we tweets. We we tweets. But I got a bunch of great segments here that we're gonna rip through. That are the fan favorites. F the fans decide. It's no well. That's <laughs> one of my favorites. I was writing down a list of all the segments you've ever done on the show, and Spooky or Kooky came up, and I was like, "That's a really good." It's segment. a good one. It's almost October. <laughs> it's almost Spooky Kooky time. Which, by the way, I think that we've done a Spooky or Kooky at every time of year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, when Shane and Ryan were here, we did it. We, and that it's was a little, like, well, they're, they're spooky and kooky. Yeah, so you know. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, <clears throat> M. Spooky, his kooky. Together, we are spooky, spooky and kooky. And kooky. How long can y'all hold your breath for? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have both of you do it, and I'm going to well, narrate. Oh, you got to put a timer on. You got to put a timer on I, here. I'm certain we've done this before. Well, but people wanted it. The people I, wanted it. We've done this. This is direct to consumer marketing. Am I crazy? We've done, we've this, done this on this. the podcast. We've I think it was actually this. silent. It was something. It was either be silent. No, it was hold your breath, okay. and I laughed But I'm going to narrate it here, so there's okay. no dead air. Three, people hate dead air. Two. Here we go. One. All right, they're both breathing in, and it started. Here we go. Keith is looking all right. Zach looks scared like he saw a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, six seconds. All right, next question. I was going to make it, and you just made me snot all over this microphone. <laughs> oh, Zach snotted. Oh. Yeah. He's so snotty. Uh, that, I um, was ready. I was ready to go the distance. <laughs> I was ready to go the distance. distance. Oh, oh. I thought of a really good YouTube show last night. Go, Keith. It's very similar to something like a Nathan for you in terms of its energy and vibe, but it yeah. would be different. It's called S Stuff to Do in America. And you just go to the cities <laughs> and you do the things that you have to do, but you just do them like because you have to. Oh, I like, like that. Like you go to Philadelphia, you have to go pretend to be Rocky and run up the stairs. Yeah. You have to get a fucking mm. Philly cheesesteak, but you present it in that kind of uh, what's the the great New York show that uh, where he just has all the footage? Oh, of New how York. to with John Wilson. It, I uh, want that vibe of yeah. the host having to do it. We it's similar and to I the. I thought it would be it should be Jack. Ooh, I love that. And it's Jack. He's like, okay, so I we're in Philadelphia, so we have to be Rocky, yeah. and we have to run up the stairs. <laughs> then that's the show. You <laughs> things you have to do. Yeah, you have to. I like similar uh, to the show we want to do, ter Terrible Tourist, where you yeah. spend time in the worst places in every city that are just tourist traps. So hmm. you know we want to do twenty four hours in Times Square. Venice I think Beach. we'll film that in the fall. Mm. Ben Speed Hollywood Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard is pretty bad. Yeah, but then like whatever you're offered, you got to do it. God, Hollywood Boulevard is a bad place. Mm -hmm. It's just a scary place too. It's scary. It can be a little rough over there. Do you Ooh. know that. They're looking at, and I think there's goods and bads to this. They're looking at turning Hollywood Boulevard into like a promenade, like uh, Santa Monica, where you oh. can't drive across it in certain oh, areas. Oh, that could be cool. So it's more of a pedestrian zone, which A, I think could help uh -huh. it be nicer, but also, man, traffic. Hollywood traffic already <laughs> is so sucks. bad. Like, where is it going to go? Yeah, but I wonder could, if part of the reason that the traffic's so bad is because people are driving slow, being like, oh, that's where Jimmy Kimmel is. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think it's because there's not I think a good just, freyway system in that section of town. Built, yeah. yeah. 
I have a story. Oh. We got it, Zach. Get a story in before we get back this to the This is the, the segment. Zach, what was the segment? Story. I forget what we were we doing. We didn't even already. get there. We're doing a segment called Oh, Fans Decide. Zach's story. story. Oh boy. Here we go. You know what I'm about to talk about. I'm talking about puzzles. I'm talking about games, puzzle games, my favorite one, Best Fiends. You've heard me talk about it before. I truly do love this puzzle game. It is the best solution for when you are stuck in a place and you don't have Wi-Fi and you don't have anything else to do. Like, you don't have any other games to play. I'm like, oh wait, yeah you do. You got Best Fiends. I even play it all the time when I have many other games I could play because I truly love it. I play it on the plane when I'm flying. I play it at home sometimes. You collect tons of fiends that get powered up as you play more levels. So like, they can clear out columns or like uh, areas around around them, bombs, all sorts of little things you get to make the gameplay better because the puzzles always get way more challenging. I'm at level 363, pretty sick. With thousands of levels, there's always more to play, so go ahead and let enough is never enough be your mantra. Download Best Fiends for free from the App Store or Google Play, plus earn even more with $5 worth of in-game rewards when you reach level five. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. You know, I often am buying new electronics and they come with a handy little user manual that tells me just how to use them perfectly. But life, life does not come with a user manual. No, you have to encounter problems and then figure out how to solve them. And you may have internal struggles or stress or other things you're dealing with. And it would be nice to have a life manual, but there isn't that. But you know who's kind of like that? Therapists. Therapists are kind of like that. Therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills. Therapy is dope. It's just a super amazing way for you to talk to someone else, have a neutral sounding board. I know Zach loves to take his afternoon walk, talking to to his better help therapist makes him feel great even if he doesn't think he has anything to talk about typically he finds something to talk about and it makes him feel better after the fact all the benefits of in-person therapy plus it's more convenient more accessible and more affordable so get unstuck with better help learn more and save 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash tripod that's better help better h-e-l-p dot com slash tripod I went tuxedo shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting married, as y'all know, and I, I don't understand. Tying that knot. Woo! I don't understand fashion. I don't understand the difference between the suits and the tuxedos. I didn't or the know pants what and I the wanted. shorts, as we learned last week. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I was actually going to do like a long, short tuxedo. <laughs> tuxedo. <laughs> um, and I didn't know, like, there's all these different types of tuxedo jackets. You can have the, I still don't know the names, the swoopy, the more sharp angular one. Those are the names. Yeah. So I decided <laughs> not just to go shopping. I decided to go fancy boy shopping. Me and my buddy Eric went to Rodeo Drive. Whoa. And As seen in the Mighty Ducks 2. Maybe. I think that's the one. Maybe it's the Mighty Ducks 1. And, you know, Rodeo Drive is not a place that I had gone literally and since I was 13 years old. I went here there once as a tourist and then was like, why would I ever? It's all these overpriced stores. But we scheduled an appointment at the Armani store. We went to the Gucci store. We oh, went wow. to like we went to all of the because I was like, let's just go to the fanciest fucking places. There's gonna be these yeah. and it was exactly this. So we go to the Armani store. I mean, it's free to schedule an appointment. Yeah. So you go upstairs and like, can I get you anything? I'm like, yeah, actually, I would love a tea. And do you have sparkling water? Like I got doted on. Whoa, that's awesome. Um, and then they were just explaining us all like the way different fabrics work, the way different cuts work. Do you have work. any turkey legs? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can yeah. ask. Can I have some food? <laughs> I'm hungry. I would love hungry. a prosciutto board, but with all the nuts picked out and put in a separate bowl. Yeah, please. Uh, and then I just pretended like I knew everything so i just yes and everything he said yeah that's great and really made myself to seem like i was a fashionista mm. yeah and i at one point go because he's like he's putting us in a suit that was a, a navy with black accents oh and i go i love this how it's you know elegant classy uh refined but it has just a little touch and what i'm looking for is something that is elegant from afar but has has a little touch of personality and he go ah say no more and he no, that, did he really <laughs> say say no more? He said uh, he says say no more. I know exactly what you're looking for. Oh, and wow, he comes God. back with a 
white smoking jacket, <laughs> which is not what I want to wear at my wedding. For. But, Say no I, more. I know exactly what you're <laughs> yeah. looking for. They had like all of these bedazzled suits. Um, wow. They had like, you know, the Nicole Kidman AMC ad. They basically had that there. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. It was nuts. But what was wild is Armani, like to me, I assumed was going to be like the creme de la creme. Yeah. And everywhere else was not as nice and more fucking expensive. Huh. And they just looked like shitty ass suits. Yeah. They were tuxedos, quote unquote. But this shit's expensive. I mean, I, if I got a custom tuxedo, it would cost more than Maggie's wedding dress. Yeah. Tuxedos it's are expensive. wild. Well, first, yeah. from Armani. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, but we were like pricing it out as if this it was actually something we were going to do. An Armani leg. Is that why it's called that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think if I like had my own swatch, because they, they have like 80 swatches of fabric. Yeah. If I wanted to make a custom tuxedo, how much do you think that costs? Oh, fuck. From Armani. From Armani? Like 20 grand? No. <laughs> That's too high. But probably in the... It's Armani. It was $7,500. That's expensive. Ooh! That's a big tux. That is, I was like, I was like, nice, reasonable. <laughs> yeah, that's so crazy. But what he was saying, he's like, this is classic. You go to these other places, they go out of style. You get ours. This is one tuxedo you will wear for the rest of your life. It's true. They say that. That's a, that's I've been gotten that before. Uh, I know. Like you just I, need one. But uh, hey, sorry. you got a wedding suit. I do. Have you worn it since? Yeah, because it was just a suit. And yeah. I rented a tux. We had two weddings. Uh, so that's I rented right. a tux for one, and then I got a nice suit for the other one that's now my suit. <laughs> Tell but me this, though. I if saw... I, so if I got a really fucking nice tux, yeah. and I wore it to someone else's wedding, yeah. I would feel bad, because I would look nicer. Well, but it also, That's on them. Tuxes are not for every wedding, though. Like, that's who. For, but it's every black tie event, you can wear that tux. Yeah, up. for sure. Is there a wedding where it would be inappropriate to wear a tux? Yeah. If it's like... <laughs> yeah. I think probably. Barn wedding. I went to a barn <laughs> wedding recently. I did. I really went to one. It was in a barn. That's and great. tuxedo would have been really outclassed the entire... Like, What's up? The whole... Every single... No one there was in a tux. You'd be like, oh, Zach's big dogging us in his tux. Yeah. Big dogging. To yeah. Run through the... There's like... Okay. Black tie. Blank. Blank. Black tie. Black tie. Formal. Optional. Semi-formal. Semi-formal. Cocktail. Okay. So I went to a semi-formal. Barn. We're doing a quick quick little wedding chat. Barn. I know we do this a lot, but I went to a semi-formal wedding, yeah. which to me means suit, but like you can play with it a little you, bit. You can leave the jacket off, Yeah, hey, is what I think that One means. fucking guy, this one fucking guy hmm. comes with a short sleeve button down. Interesting. Was okay. it tucked in? Was it tucked? Irrelevant. Mm, no, no, that's a big difference. And is it outside? No. It was an inside wedding. Yeah. Mm. What kind of pants? Slacks? Stupid ones. Who the fuck is calling me? It wasn't even me. Who was calling somebody else? <laughs> I got a text. It wasn't me. I, I got, got a bunch text. of texts. I'm trying to this on. Don't My grandma texted me. me. You want to find out? Yeah, what'd yeah. you say? Let's hey, see. Zach, you suck. And you'll always suck. Uh, she shared a NewYorkPost.com article. Mm. This NYC block is famed, f Jesus, for crime, sex, and tragedy. What block is it? Do you remember that my apartment was on this <laughs> corner? Spooky, and then she did a bunch of emojis. Actually, my Cute. grandma texted me last night, and she at eight oh eight p.m. and she just goes Holocaust on PBS now. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Grandma! And I'm like, I don't have cable. How is it? What I wanted to say is not really looking into watching a Holocaust documentary on Sunday evening. Yeah, my grandma doesn't if really not text me now. Then when? That's a great point. Yeah. Especially with the rise of fascism. In our country, I mean, this will be four weeks ago when this podcast posts. Man, yeah. those those rallies this last weekend with everybody holding their hand up are pretty Psycho. intense. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, the guy who had his shirt, if it was tucked in, and they were dressed slacks, and he had a nice belt, mm. Mm, I could give it a pass. For I'm not here to semi critique anyone's outfit at a wedding. I am. If you come to my wedding wearing short sleeves, you're fucking out of there. It's gonna be so hot. At your I wedding. don't. Get you're wearing fucking. You're wearing a jacket, bitch. Well, oh, what I about am, a, what about a short sli a short pant? Have you seen this, those the shoot suit shorts? Yeah, and they flare out at the I, flare that out I'd be into. five eighths down the leg. You really out Miles here critiquing like, oh, that person's not fancy enough. Are you a ninety year old man? 
You're being like, you're not fancy enough? Yes. Because, first of all, I've been the one that was not fancy enough at a lot of weddings. I so can tell. don't I can throw tell. stones and in I can a tell about glass that. house. <laughs> Um, but no, because you're gonna ruin photos. You're gonna ruin video. Like if you're wearing this dumbass shit, you're, you're setting the vibe. You're setting yeah, the but, but but a button. What down? am I gonna wear for your wedding? Yeah, what is it? Keith's gonna wear for your wedding? Miles said he's not coming. <gasps> I'm having a baby. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'll, my baby will be so little. I'll have right, to hang so out. I'll have to hang out with it. Remember, he won't remember when I put him in a Bjorn at your wedding, screaming. Yeah, I'm bummed. I wish I could have one last. Okay, I've I've <laughs> taken too much time. This is not what the audience demanded. Nope, it's certainly not. Ge- what just, is it, Zach Keith? Eggs and baths. It's been a while since we've had an update. Eggs in your bath? Eggs and bath. Well, first of all, let's just get back into eggs, guys. I'm fucking thrilled. Yeah. that this came up because we've returned. I've recently found the new egg. <gasps> new egg just dropped. I don't know about this. I don't know about new. It's what new kind of egg? You. New fucking egg dropped i can't recall if this was shared to me on twitter so if you're listening out there this was you baby it is okay i want you to imagine a donut yeah (sighs) double it okay maybe triple it triple it in size or how many hoops there are size how many holes (laughs) how many like is it a figure eight or okay Okay. so like this it's right okay it's a porcelain no it must be clay porcelain it's a it's a it's a donut shaped thing. A, like a clay pot. Clay sorts. pot shaped like a big old donut. Yeah. You crack the egg. Boop, 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 All the way around. You fill it into the donut. You close it. You close it. And then you like steam cook it or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then at the end, you are left with a slimy. <laughs> this sounds horrible. Donut. donut. I saw a photo. I just saw the before and oh I saw the after. God. And it was fucking wild. Uh, I will scroll on my Twitter to see if I can find it. I don't even know that I liked it. I was just so wowed by it that I I just I just was like, wow. I haven't taken a bath in a while. It's been a while for me too. It's been a while. Wow. It's been because my yes, I found that sometimes my bath because my bath's not big enough with the back pain. Sometimes it makes it worse. Not always, but sometimes I'm like stuffed in yeah. there, and it and it's not as good. Also, I um I've misplaced the tripod for the iPad, so I gotta find it or buy another one or buy another one. What I really want though is a for music the, stand. I want it to be mounted on the wall of the bath. Tub. That's a real guy because it's off to the left. And then you're so I'm sitting in the tub, soaped up. Yeah, nude you're as hell. To the right, my balls no are way. out. My yeah. butts out. Uh-huh. Okay, bitch. And I'm sitting there, and I'm looking. Oh, and, about and I have to look to the and, it, and that's where I'm. I'm, I'm rewatching yeah. Grays right now because it's just like I couldn't get that hit of adrenaline. Could from you else. lay on your side in the? <laughs> <laughs> I-, I don't know because if I lay on my side, I fear that. I fear that something terrible would happen. <laughs> Do you ever think about getting a big horse trough to bathe outside? Yeah. That I could, could boil myself, uh-huh. put a little fire underneath. Uh-huh, a little log. That's not, that's not a bad idea. I've been thinking about An it. An outdoor ba- It would take a while to fill. Well, These yeah. are outdoor tubs. I guess a clawfoot. You seen those crazy TikToks where people have like it's a tub, but it's on like a roller coaster rack, and it like goes outside of their house. That seems dangerous. Yeah, that does seem very dangerous. Like it's like it's because it's so much weight. It's water's the water's heavy. really heavy, and I'm heavy. <laughs> yeah, I found the egg. Egg donut. I'm gonna give a shout out. I don't know if you want your Twitter blown up, so I'm just gonna say your name, but not your username. This is Phantom of the Opera H, who who tagged us in at fucked up foods. I proudly present the long egg. No, oh. <laughs> I saw that too. That one's really funny. It's a lot of eggs too. And th- what bothers me, I think the most about it is that the cake <laughs> outside of it looks fuzzy. It's a bunt. Cake yeah, pan. It's it looks like, like it's felt it. Yeah, I said slimy, but I think more appropriately, it almost looks styrofoamy. Like, styrofoam, like air yeah. crispy. It, yeah. oh, you know what it is? Like those little white crispies that you get in um, packing peanuts packing peanuts or but, like there's a certain type of Asian cuisine yes um, yeah 
The like rice noodles? It's not like a daikon of sorts. No, 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 no. It's like a chip. It's like a, a crab oh, chip. Oh, yeah. They're the puffed um, yeah. shrimp chips. Shrimp chips. Yeah, oh, they have I that love. puffed puffedness. Puff. Yeah, Puff. this is truly haunting. It is haunting. I and like it, And though. the way that the... Because is this hard-boiled? Um, it, It's probably baked. It's baked, so it is essentially hard-boiled. Which I, is why it has that, that texture in it, because the boiling... Is in the shell, so I, it keeps it glossy. Yeah, not a fan. Yeah, I don't like it, but I think it could be really funny to serve. Should yeah. we do a segment called "The Try Guys Try Every Egg"? Well, so there's a great series that um, they have on. What's it called? About to About eat. About to eat. Andrew Onicki show. Yeah. The I, I had I bought too many potatoes, so I had to make a thousand potato recipes. It's yeah, like and I, he does, it's great. how I cooked forty five pounds of potatoes. Right, it's that kind of. I and mean, you can do that with eggs. It's a great format. It's a good format, and he does very high end. Yeah. Things, but I also think fried scrambled. Honestly, Rank King eggs. Holy shit! That's what's cool. the best egg preparation? And you get a like an egg chef to and come in and do it. Yeah, that's really So you make good. sure it's the best of the best of each mm. one. Now, I okay, let's talk about scrambled eggs. Yeah. Because I'm a quick scrambler, but I know there's a lot of people who do the really long, Gordon. super low mm-hmm. heat that's, scramble. That's the Gordon Ramsay scramble. And I don't have the fucking time for that. Because mm. why am I spending time on scrambled eggs? Yeah. You, you know I, what I'm saying? I agree with you, Keith. And I want something in, in the middle ground. I don't want them to be hard. I don't want them to be like the because the, that's the just fancy one. Just take them out before they're done, they're and then like they're cook on the plate, and they're perfect. Exactly. So they're like, perfect. You kind of because I like I, I like the curds. I don't want necessarily the curds to be so small because then it's almost like porridge. Yeah. Like I want it curds. to be a little. The curds, it has some floss. Yeah. The, when it curdles, curd. When it it's curd, called a curd. It curds. It's called a curd. Don't you look at me with your little. That's wait, what we a curd. Just, we've <laughs> talked about eggs. Yeah. For so long. I yeah. I guess we never say curd. I've never known. That's how Gordon so when says you it. Google the eggs when you're cooking them on the when stove. When you're scrambling the eggs. Yeah, when you scramble them, they become little curds. They curd up. They get little, become little curds. I okay. don't believe it. Well, I'm sometimes not buying it, it. maybe it's too good to be true. It's what? Because a curd, a, curd. a curdle is a bad thing. No, it's not. No, it's just a description of what happens. But we, we, typically, it's bad when you have curdled milk. Yeah, you don't want curdled milk. You want a curd and an egg curd. I, look, I'm excited. Lemon curd. To, to learn something mm, new. Yeah, lemon curd's good. The word curd is starting to stop. Cheese sounding curd. Like <laughs> curd. Egg curd. Curd. Curd your enthusiasm. Curd. That would be a good egg dish. Like oh. at a Denny's, curd, curd your, your enthusiasm. enthusiasm. That is really it's good. It's actually like cheese curds, I guess. I'm liking that, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. But uh, yeah, so my egg update is that. And what I've been doing recently is... Um, I've been making. Uh, <laughs> we literally just talked earlier about this, though. How we need better segments so we don't end up talking about the same four things, and so we outsourced our segments, <laughs> and they brought us to the exact same bullshit that our fans love about. But it this turns podcast. out there's so much more. There's, so there's much always more, more there's eggs more. to explore. There's, there's donut donut egg. Yeah. There's curds. I'm learning. Should a new try. Pod art when we get new art have eggs in it. Keith, should yes. we be in a bathtub eating eggs? Love oh, that. Okay, 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 Love okay. That. You know, <laughs> throw your headphones down. You know, headphones off. You know, Gudetama. Yes, Gudetama. No. You don't it? know Gudetama. Sexy little egg yolk. You think he's sexy? <laughs> don't move Sometimes your neck like he's that. Sexy. <laughs> you think he's, he's sexy? got his little booty out? Well, he's laying lazy. on a bed. Gudetama. <laughs> You don't know who Gudetama is? No, I don't. Yes, you do. He's the little lazy egg man. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm describing to you. Put your phone down. He's a little <laughs> yolk. And he's, he's wrapped a, up in the whites. The, okay. cra- the, the egg cracks. Yeah. And he's the yolk. Humpty. And he's so sleepy. And he's got little arms and legs. Is he like Humpty? No. And he's a little... No, 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 no. <laughs> he's got no shell. Listen. like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty dies he's when he falls. The he's the yolk. Killed. He's murdered. The egg is his home. Yeah. He's so sleepy. His little butt's out. Okay. An egg with a butt. He's the yolk. Yeah. He's illustrated. I've heard this. You've seen him in I've seen him. Japanese stores. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> he's cute. He's cute. And, and sometimes yolk he's goes, sexy. Uh, I've never seen him be sexy. <laughs> now, this brings <laughs> me to another. I had a point. <laughs> <laughs> What's your point? He's not sexy. <laughs> is that the point? I think sometimes he is. I think that the art should be cracking an egg. Yeah. 
and, and we're you're coming top. out. We're Gudatema, and our butts are out, and it's not sexy. You're like it's nude, hairless, <laughs> falling out of the egg. Um, I this is something that I think everyone needs to hear. We just learned three new things about eggs. Yeah, we did. So with eggs, and Keith, this is gonna be something that's second nature to you. But it's and something I knew. That's hilarious. So sexy. Not sexy. I think that's on the way to sexy. He's a little bit like, come get me. Miles uh, is really trying to power through, and I'm not going to let him. I see the yoke, and I see how he's sort of like, eh. Yeah. Meh. When is, mm. when is took. Okay. Oh, my God. That <laughs> yeah, is too something. sexy. I don't like that's that. a little too much. That's very um, presenting. Do you think. Mm -hmm. In the animal kingdom. Gouda Tama. Hooked up with Humpty. You There's know there is. Definitely. You know there is. But don't look it up. But what is having sex with the yolk? This will be the fifth time Zach's said Another egg or phone. like <laughs> yeah, little tiny sausage links? Oh, no. Oh, it's funny. Guys, Let there's a lot of funny photos. Oh, my God. So this one just kind of beefed up Gudetama to be hot. We this can't. Don't show the camera. Well. Let me see. Oh. I told you he was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I told you. Yeah, that's too sexy. That's, yeah. a, that's a sexy fucking I, yeah. There's point of everything. Should we get some decals and put them on the back of our cars of that, sexy that particular Gudetama image? I, I think like I'm ready to move on. Can we put it to a vote? What? Well, you were just trying to power through. Well, of what? Of, well, he was trying to say something else about eggs. So it about it's sort of not fully moving on. No, it's not. We haven't moved on yet. What is your egg thing that I find second nature? I have been liking to cook my egg in a stainless steel pan that I get ripping hot. Now, when okay. people said ripping hot, and I think it's like I knew this subconsciously, but it wasn't until like the last year or two that I really was like, oh, this is the only way to cook in this pan is that you have to get it so hot that when you put water on it, the water dances. The water doesn't want to be there. The water doesn't want to be there. And then it's pretty much nonstick. Yeah. And so I've been doing like crispy eggs. Uh, like sort of almost, I would say Asian style. That's like to me what they remind me of where the bottom is crispy and crunchy and then the top is soft. A heavily and, uh, fried. Egg. Heavily fried, fried in egg. oil mm -hmm. egg. And um, I've really been enjoying that. That's good for when you put it on the top of rice oh, or something so or a bibimbap on, bowl. That's yum. what you want. That mm -hmm. really crispy yeah. white. But I like that often. I'm, I'm sort of going for that recently. Um, hey, I got you ready for this. Yeah. Make your morning eggs. <laughs> Have <laughs> chili oil or chili grease. Yeah, bonnet. buddy. I've done that. And now you're fucking holy shit. Chili oil for breakfast. It's really nice. Yum. Are you making rice at the beginning of the week? So we actually get these and we, uh, these like microwave rice bowls that yeah. are actually quite good. Mm -hmm. They're from H Mart and some other places. And those are excellent to like oh, do better. a quick rice to have with those, with the eggs and chili oil. Uh, is it as good as, you know, making actual rice? made rice? No. Oh, no. But is it way better than it should be for microwave rice? Yeah. yeah they got these little bowls. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Peel off the lid. I love it. You cook them. But it's just so much effort to make rice. Tired. Putting egg in your soup. Been there. Oh. Done that. Yeah. Everybody knows. Wired. Put raw egg in your scalding hot tea. You're going to. Oh, my God. You're going you're gonna to pour. Scramble. Money, money. <laughs> <laughs> You're, You're gonna gonna pour to money. into a cup. Get that scalding water. Oh, can you just so a tea poached egg? Tea poached egg. That sounds pretty good, actually. I could see that working. <laughs> yum, yum. Does anyone ever make tea out of nori? Oh, <laughs> Ew. seaweed tea. I'm sure it's been done. Teaweed. 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 Oh, Teaweed's up. Oh, That's right. Oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. You kind of look like Gudetama today, don't you? Me? With I'm your little yellow. Yoki shirt. Yeah, Yoki shirt. Yoki boy. Uh, <laughs> Yoki. <laughs> and Miles yeah. is actually wearing assless jeans. So. I yeah. am. Assless chaps. And those heels and I'm a little chap. I see your ankles and oh, your heel out. Here we go. Now, another segment here. Smash or pass it with soups. Okay. Oh, sort, fuck, of, yeah. sort of tangential okay, to what I'm we're talking ready. about now. Smash pass with soups. French onion. Pass. Mm. Pass? Smash. More often than not, I've been disappointed with the results, so pass. That's fair. Yeah. But a really good French onion soup. I mean, soup. yes, but and the you really, never get the really good ones. When I say really good, I mean French onion soup in a bread bowl from Panera. 
<laughs> See, okay, well, bread you bowl? can't get it in a bread bowl because the bread drinks the whole soup. But then you get to eat the soupy but bread. But then you're not eating soup, you're eating bread. <laughs> you're not bread, eating soup. Bread bowl, oh. instant smash. Yeah, I will yeah. bread smash bowl, any bread bowl. All, It's obviously. a full loaf of bread and soup. Yeah. And it's awesome. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, uh, tomato bisque. Smash. Smash. Lobster bisque. Smash. Smash. <laughs> smash me down. Hold me down. Dig me down in a Mazda. Uh-huh. Um, ooh, uh, Italian wedding. What? What? Uh, what is that? Italian wedding soup. This is soup. Ah, uh, pass. There's beans in I it. I, I'm a pass it for it. Okay, it's I'm fine. It's minestrone with beans. Yeah. Ooh, smash. Uh, gazpacho. Pass. I don't want pass. no cold soup. What? I haven't had a good gazpacho. It's more about the fun of having. I a just cold had the soup. one Zach made once, <laughs> and that was bad. <laughs> it was bad, and I don't think maybe I've had one good gazpacho or one gazpacho after that. Yeah, gazpacho is gazpachito like mode. Salsa wearing a little hat. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much salsa, right? It's salsa. It's kind of cold salsa soup. Yeah. Sometimes there's Runny ice in salsa. It. Runny salsa. Uh, what's another soup? Matzo ball. Ramen. Ramen. Oh, smash and smash. smash ramen, and smash. though. Matzo ball for sure. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa bleh, bleh, bleh. I know I love ramen. What do you, you I'm just like, is it to... soup? Is ramen soup? Yes. What, what do you think it is? It's pork fat soup. Yeah, but there's noodles in it. It's chicken what? noodles. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is noodles after? To me, a soup, like the broth is soup, what but it becomes ramen about? when you're adding the noodles. Chicken noodle soup. Yeah, but that says soup in the title. Ramen soup. No one sings soup. Minestrone has little noodles. Because it's a word from <laughs> yeah. a different language. But the things are small, not long. Yeah. Okay, what about pho? <laughs> what about pho? Pho is a soup. I'll say I love ramen. I love pho. And I'm not trying to cause controversy How? here, but I don't I know got, if ramen is soup. I got a soup. billion dollar idea. What? It'll be called the soup fucker. And it's a restaurant that only sells soups that are crossover soups. Matzo ball ramen. That's cool. I Dangerous. love a fusion. I love a fusion rush. Yeah, I saw. So I saw a place that had Tom Yum ramen the other day, and I was uh, like, man, I would love Tom Ka ramen. Interesting. Whoa. That would be so fucking nuts. Good. That would be good. And I was like, yeah, all soups should like what if Pozole and something had a baby because Pozzoli is one of the best soups out there that most people still haven't discovered. Pozzoli fucks hard and I would smash the fuck like yeah. Pozzoli with like some other kind of noodle in it because Pozzoli doesn't have noodles. Yeah, Ramen noodles and Pozzoli would be fucking dank. You know what? Okay, so matzo ball soup <laughs> is just soup and a matzo ball. Yeah, uh-huh. you know what they call it when you put some noodles in it? What? Kerplock. 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 Oh. It's dope. It's a stupid name. It's awesome. I'm getting hungry for dumplings right now. Oh, Miles, soup dumplings. Do me a favor. What's up? Order some dumplings. Maybe text Jack. You want Jack to order dumplings? I think that's a good idea. We already, we I think him? lunch is here. Lunch is almost here. It is here. Should we call Jack and get it? Do over? you think those two are mutually exclusive? No, I think we can get dumplings. I think the office should get like some table Surprise dumplings. Surprise dumplings. Surprise. Well, from where? Dumpling. That's not my problem. Dumpling. Ask Jack. <laughs> do you, you want to call? Let's call him on the air. Hang on. Can we, this can is we the power. This is the, the power of kings. This is the power. I'm using my power for good. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're getting Jack McGill on the line. Here's hoping. Hey, Miles. Hey, hey Jack. Hey, Jack. You're, you're on the podcast right now. And do um, we have your consent to record? How's it going? I'm, I'm out. I'm outside having lunch. This is a two-party I'm record with state. The, I'm with the squad. Okay, you're with the squad now. It's, do no. we have your consent to record? Do we have your consent to record, Jack? Uh, uh yes. Okay, so. Zach and Keith are wondering, can you make dumplings happen? Can I can I make dumplings happen? Yeah. Uh yeah, I can I can make uh dumplings happen. And none of this uh, fucking shumai shit. He did, and Zach doesn't want shumai. He we wants, want Zhao Long Bao. Z- Z- I would accept gyoza. <laughs> They're looking for some kind of dumplings for how many people? For how many people? <laughs> table dumplings. <laughs> table Zach is asking for table side dumplings. Hundred dollar dumpling table. budget. Hundred dollar dumpling budget. I think this is a I think this is a mid afternoon. This is a mid afternoon dumpling. Are you Okay. What are you talking about? Yeah. We have to go oh, do a shoot, right? Uh, we'll come back. It's, it's uh, noted. So like All right. It's PM done. Numbers. Exactly. I think, I think yeah, maybe like wait. 3.30 or 4. 3.30 or 4 is what Jack is saying. Okay. And, yeah. I'm, and I want you to tell me, I want you to say, it's done. It's done. No, but like say it like you're in a fucking movie. Say it like you're in a movie. Say it in a movie. Um, like 
Hold on, like, let me get like a little more. Like dramatic. you're in like a back alley. Like we just shook. Like you handed me a briefcase. <clears throat> yeah, it's done. It's done. That's better. Right, pretty Thanks. good. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <laughs> wow audience if you're out there um i want you to get some dumplings on me now i'm gonna be gone this what, afternoon what but i hope everyone has fun i want you to carry on dumplings for the rest of your life in case you run into zach and then you can put some dumplings on him yeah yeah put dumplings on me put dumplings on that bitch venmo requests zach for your dumplings well I, I two lucky winners will be chosen all right i'm done with that <laughs> i want you to get dumplings on me on you mm -hmm. like it's on me but like you're but it's on for you it. yeah yeah, yeah. it's on it. me for the idea for being smart now, enough what, to have what's it. What's my like dumpling budget? Oh, that's on me. If I'm giving people, I'm going to get a lot of Venmo requests again. I, I don't know that I can handle dollars. it. $12. Let's speed run a couple more of these segments uh, here. Okay, I'm going to give one lucky listener. Ah, fuck, I don't want to say that. Because then because here's what happens. Is that people will be like, hey, I just started listening and I'm listening to episode 47 and you said you'd give people the thing. And I'm like, D dude, that was eight lifetimes ago. I don't remember that shit. Best places to fart. Right here, right now. <laughs> Do you fart on the pod? Rarely. No. Yeah, I don't. I try not to because it's a small room. Best place to fart a windy beach. Yeah, that's the best. Uh, uh, windy beach. Yes. Any outdoor event <laughs> Super is windy. fucking incredible. A loud outdoor event. Like if you're at a windy conference. Rock concert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Because then can you can just be you ripping. <laughs> <laughs> I love it to just to be around people. Yeah. And have the freedom to fart as loud and forcefully as you want, but you know it will not be heard nor smelled. Freedom. It's fucking super. Yeah. Heaven super is a place on earth. And, and that's it's, it's that. A windy that. beach rock concert. <laughs> I uh I told the story. Well, never mind. What? No, I told the story where I farted and I cleared a room one time. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. That it's happens. Pretty dark. Sometimes you fart and you don't want it. Favorite cheese. Oh. Now, you guys are lactose intolerant, but that doesn't mean I don't have a favorite. Brie I mean, was my favorite. I we did oh, the ranking Brie cheese. So or, not even ranking. We'd eat the menu cheese. Oh, my favorite cheese, yeah, is the the Meredith Dairy uh, marinated feta. That's a really good one. Yeah. I loved that cheese. And I oh, went back somebody and I got brought some. me a jar <gasps> on tour. What? And then I left it in the fridge no. of the hotel room. <gasps> So, dear fan, your gift was in vain. No, somebody got it, and I just and I didn't open it, so I didn't break the seal. So I'm really <laughs> hoping yeah. the housekeeper took it and was like, "Yum, I will try this." And well, you know what they do? Out. They bring it to the lost and found for 30 days to wait to see if it's claimed. So, do you think that cheese can handle 30 days on a shelf? No, it needs to be in a fridge. I think <laughs> it, it was trashed fridge. immediately. Yeah, I'm sure. You think they even tried opening it to see if the seal was broken? No, they no, said, you could see the seal was because it has like a tape around the seal. You oh, know, you yeah. would see. You know, you would know. He would fucking know, and I felt so bad because I was so excited, and I was actually going to take that cheese mm. to my uh, one of my old uh, mentors and professors at ISU who loves cheese, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this will be perfect because I know we're going to hang out with him after the ISU show, and we'll have this cheese with his cheese that he definitely will have presented, which he did. Yeah. I think uh, of the, I like the really hard um, how the Gouda cheeses. Mm. Oh, you know it's an underrated cheese? Havarti. Oh, Havarti dill is fucking incredible. I love a dill. Havarti oh. dill is damn Any fine type of cheese. dill, really. Pickled chips I've been having recently. Yum. I'll do cheese. I love a cheese board. I love just having yeah, a charcuterie. sharp. Charcuterie. Sharp as fuck. It's about cheddar. to be charcuterie season, too. I'm excited for... Are you guys excited for <laughs> fall? Ah. <sighs> I like summer. <laughs> is fall charcuterie season? I don't know. I think it is. Yeah. Is, is charcuterie specific to season? I don't know if that's I think true. You think of like, I think you think of it like <laughs> I don't autumnal know. stuff, the cornucopia, you don't think the of nuts like, and fruits spilling across <laughs> the table. What about a summer picnic charcute? Yeah, you can definitely do it in the summer. <laughs> and I think yeah. the spring. What about a uh, Christmas gathering charcute? Oh, yeah, it's a really good one. But I just I think Christmas is high time for charcuterie. E Easter charcute. Mm. <laughs> That's Easter not a, it's not a very Jesus is risen type of meal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus ain't rising for that. No, he's rising for a lamb or a ham. Mm -hmm. So what I'm learning is that charcuterie season is every season but spring. I think it's best <laughs> in fall and winter. It just to me, a charcuterie is like, oh, there's a little chill in the air. You're wearing a flannel. Oh, a cheese. Because you know what I mean? Fall and winter. And the nuts. And not, don't forget about the nuts. 
Because the summer, all your cheese gets too hot. It starts to sweat. Hey, guys, I just want to take yeah. a moment to apologize to the two of you and, and to the audience, but really mm. the two of you, because yeah. I, I did forget the nuts. Yeah. I forgot about them. And <sighs> best nut ooh, <sighs> that you've ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think that was appropriate. <laughs> I think that was really. I think you're in timeout. <laughs> I think we really need to start in, uh, initiating. Randy, bleep that. <laughs> I think that Miles, Miles, you just need to take 20 seconds. You know what it is, Miles? You're in timeout. Timeout. <laughs> You've done a you're lot. My favorite out, nut. My favorite. It's fine. You're allowed to say bad things, but there are there are my favorite nut that's ever come in my <laughs> mouth <laughs> is a. Uh, you know what I love? The pre. Deshelled pistachios. <laughs> yeah. You can eat pistachios by the handful, which is an experience you don't get to have often. And they're so salty, yummy, good. You know what I like doing when I'm a when I'm feeling crazy? Uh-huh. Going to the baseball game. Uh-huh. And get your peanuts. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna fucking eat the shell. Yeah. Oh, I That's love where all the salt the is. Yeah. yeah. And it's a fiber. It's good yeah. for your guts. Um, are you guys going to the baseball game tonight? Hell yeah. That's, yeah. That's are awesome. you not going, are you? No, I don't think so. I what saw you weren't on the li- list. Why dip? don't you come? I don't know. I Maybe I will. Baseball. I don't think I have a ticket. I well, I think ticket. there might be a spare. I have an extra. I'll let you know. You should come. Uh, this is how the many? The crack of the bat. The crack of the bat. The crack the of the bat. The swing of the The swing, the swing of, the of the wind. The last basketball also, game. Also, the might... Dodgers are fucking really good. Yeah. Like they're We're doing a company outing. Company outing. And Miles said, no bonding for me, thanks. No, it could be fun. No bonding. In fact, I'll throw a secret a party. A Dodger dog? I'll throw a secret party. Miles threw it. Did we talk about this in the pot or only yes, after the pot? Briefly. It was in the pot. Miles but we threw can't talk about it. We can't talk about it. Because we can't, can't talk, talk about, about why. It. Miles threw a secret party and didn't invite me and Keith. And no. I get now. why. I can't talk about it because I can't now, talk about why I didn't invite you. And now. Because it's inappropriate. And now. <laughs> you'll be a, at the next one. You'll be at the next one. There's a company outing. Yeah. We, what, it's basically a, us throwing you a party. Yeah, and yeah, right. And and here's a question. Here's an answer. Is there a dumpling budget for the baseball game? It's a pre. <laughs> the dumplings are to give you the energy for to make the it game. to yeah. the hot dog. But you know what? What time if is you're it? You're not coming to the game. No dumplings for everybody. No, for you. Oh well, I'm not gonna be uh, here. You should come. What do you mean uh, I'm gonna be here? It's I brought probably, my roommate's car. It probably starts at like seven or six forty-five. Yeah, I don't really know. Maybe I'll stop by. I have a two tickets and Maggie bailed. So, so Matt, me and Maggie are hanging out. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> you, guys have plans. you should come. It'll be fun. Um, think about it. I'll think about it. And then have the result of your thinking be yes. You know what I will say? This I don't know that I don't know that this is going to be what it is, but I have a pregnant wife at home and that's a great excuse. I know it's an excuse. It's a lie. <laughs> you think she's not pregnant. But I think you should it probably realize will, it will be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. How fun it will be and how your compatriots that you work with will be That's saying, true. this is the best night of my life. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I'm having the most fun. I caught yeah. the home run. I caught the foul ball. If I go and I get hit in the face of the ball and I die. Yeah. You'll never forget it. I'll never forget but it. But this, this, <laughs> this episode is going to crush. Yeah, it is. Miles is the last episode. Because everyone it. will be like, did yeah. you hear this episode where he predicted his death? No, the last baseball game I went with you guys to was awesome. And the food was really good. That was a fun one. Is Dodger Stadium like that? I've never been. You never, You've never you, been to fucking <laughs> Dodger Dog Town? You've never been. It's, it's like right it's so close to your house. Yeah, it's really close. It's to my basically house. your it's backyard. Like your backyard. <laughs> I know. What it must be like two miles no, away. Really, and we're doing a company close. outing. Yeah. We're not doing this for the game, Miles. We're doing it for the bonding. For the I spirit. Loved, I love Moneyball. The movie. Good, good movie. We can bet on the game. Now I'm interested. Now for I'm, every hit, I'm gonna say Awuga. Well, here's a question. Should I Uber? Um, I think we have some sort of company something. Oh. So I yeah, if you Uber, I'm, I'm sure if you Honestly, Uber, I could drive you there and drop you off. I was actually <laughs> counting on Zach to drive me and Becky there and drive us off. Interesting. Because the parking's always bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Well, the parking is... You, you've never been. Well, no, but in my neighborhood... Uh, well, they have a parking lot Oh, that you pay for. And then you park there on the company and there there's enough spots for the seats and the butts and the seats. Is the, how is the food? Can I get um, a wacky Asian hot dog like we got it? <laughs> no, you, but can't. you get the Dodger dog, which is a uh, iconic oh. and they have nachos in a hat 
Oh. Like the helmet nachos? They got Dippin' Dots, probably. They got Dippin' Dots, they, probably? I can't promise it. They have to. All right, this is sounding enticing. They got big beers that are expensive, but you you're know, not paying. Oh, okay. This is actually sounding really good. What time is the game? And you know what? I don't know. It's you, probably 6.45. If you took an edible, your bosses would look the other direction. Well, it's illegal. It's California. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like if it's you take bad. it on your own, we, <laughs> yeah, it's, it'll be okay. It's a company <laughs> event where it's legal in the state. Um... Yeah, okay, see, this is Dodgers. cool. This is sounding enticing. I think I might go. 7, 10 p.m. Who else is going? Everyone who's cool. I don't think cool. anyone's coming, actually. <laughs> it's just you guys. <laughs> Everyone fails. And it's against the Diamondbacks. Ooh. I'm going to rip those diamonds right out of them. Okay. This sounds good. I think I might come. I'm going to need a more of a firm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need... I know you want to get the yes. You, you're, you're closer. Yeah. And you want to get the yes. Yeah. You, you, you were told, don't leave the company until you don't leave the pocket so you can get the yes the for miles. Might is not going to do it for <laughs> I me. I just, you know, it's tough to commit to plans here. Look, I get it. Yeah. You, and if you're a fan out there and you're thinking, if I was invited to a baseball game with Zach and Keith, I'd definitely go. Right. And here, you're living everyone's dream. I'm living everyone's dream. Well, miles it. isn't a huge fan <laughs> of, of, of baseball, us. of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of you guys. I see you every day, <laughs> but I am also not a big fan of baseball. But to me, what I learned at the Yankees game yeah. is that it's not about it doesn't the fucking matter. It's not about the baseball, baseball about, is yeah. the best sport to go and pretend it's just a picnic that everyone else is at too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, like all that happens is sometime. And also anytime something happens, you know, yeah. yeah. Because the people who are paying attention scream and that's fun and it's super fun. And either the two things that can happen are either amazing yeah. home run or scary foul ball, which is scary, which is fine. It's scary though. It's the heart rate up. Where are we seating? Are we sitting right at the home plate? Heavens no. I'm sure they're not good <laughs> seats, <laughs> but I bet they're all together. Yeah, I bet. I yeah. bet. I bet we're nosebleeds as long as we can sit together. But if we're third base nosebleed, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you we won't can get hurt. You think we can? Um, Zach likes to sneak into exclusive areas. How do I sweeten the pot? <laughs> I'm going to need a yes. Well, first of all, I want to check with everyone at lunch to see who's going. Don't well, please. they're eating lunch right now without you. We just talked to Zach <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> you guys are keeping me from my other friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're going to need to spend time with them tonight. You, you missed lunch. I think I'll probably go. I, I think you should. Okay. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah, I'll probably go. I'm going to need a yes. I, I can't get this. He's got to check with his wife. I got to check with my pregnant wife. Well, let's call her. She might need me to massage her back. She, call, she's at work. She's at work. Hmm. Yeah. They should give her the day off. I know she's pregnant. <laughs> she's pregnant. <laughs> they give her every day off. Oh, my God. Eventually, they will. Yeah. Would it change things if yeah. we had a ticket for the missus? She does not want to go. A baseball but game? But does the baby? <laughs> the baby wanna might want to go. go. But she doesn't want to stay, stand up on those the stairs. Back. Yeah, it's true. They're not good seats. What Austin if I told games. you yeah. that for everyone coming to the game, yeah. there were dumplings? I mean, the dumplings are awesome. I'm bummed I'm not going to be here to eat them. Yeah. I brought my roommate's car. So this guy. So I have to give him a car back. And comes I'm to work, from home. <laughs> leaves in the middle of the day, <laughs> fails on the company outing. I know. I'm a bad boy. People, people know me around the office. Miles, you know what? Actually, I will say is that yeah. you are a department head. I'm like Van Wilder. You're, you're a department head. <laughs> You'll That's never true. graduate. And, no, and I'll never graduate. <laughs> I would say that it. Look, yeah. I I'm mean, the cool. See, I mean, I'm wearing Burks. I'm the look, cool. this is an optional outing. <laughs> but it's but I would say, for me. well, you are no, a, you're would, a department head. You're That's true. You're a department head. If, Rainy, if, Rainy, if, if Rainy is listed as attending and you aren't. How does there, that look? She's there to represent the department. I just, I just think like it would be a really good show of power yeah and like show solidarity amongst and it. power yeah of, it's the biggest it's a big show of power really you, if you give me a little goss i'll go okay <laughs> oh you know there's gonna be goss <laughs> is there gonna be goss there this there's is always an, i feel goss. like this is okay. important like you know like look like we need to boost morale yeah and <laughs> we need leadership to show <laughs> that they're strong <laughs> and that we're all this is great <laughs> If if you're not there as the podcast head, people are gonna be like, "Oh my yeah. god, do you think like something's going on All right, between Miles, the departments?" Yeah. If you come, <laughs> this is crazy. What? And they make custom jerseys there. You guys, are, you're getting. I'll cut. get you one. You just, get, just you. Yeah. That says advice. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, me and, and Randy, then <laughs> one. <laughs> me and Randy were thinking of getting podcast department Letterman jackets. <laughs> 
That's stupid. I like That'd that. Be funny. You know, each department <laughs> yeah. has a should have a team outing. Mm-hmm. And do we have? Yeah, that'd be awesome. We could uh, make that happen. You can give the podcast department a team outing. It's just me and Rainy doing something. <laughs> we'll <dumb>. be there. <laughs> it's like me and Rainy playing paintball. We oh could. shit! <laughs> that sounds Against pretty people good. Who are really good? Yeah. We Rainy, would, Rainy would light us up. <laughs> I'll go. It's gonna be fun. That's it. I'm not gonna go for a long time. We got the firm. I don't Woo. care. Let it all go. We got the firm. Yes. It couldn't be closer to my house. Perseverance. <laughs> it's gonna take me so little effort to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I will go. I'll go. I'm happy to go. He's happy to go. Yeah. You're gonna love it. I'm going to go sales 101. Get a hot dog. Never be- leave the room until you, <laughs> you close yes. the deal. Close and the close deal. and close then what me. you do, yeah. you say, Miles, it's been a pleasure. And you shake on it and you make firm eye contact. And you say, we'll let you know. And you, say, <laughs> and you don't let go of the hand. Oh, God. And you say, sir. Yeah. You've made a good decision. Here Thanks. Today. Sorry. We'll be in you touch. You made the right decision. You made the right. And I feel good. I feel good about it. I feel kind of nauseous. We should end the show. I'm so hungry. We should do advice it's because I haven't eaten any food. I am. And lunch is here. It's time for advice. Yeah. That'll go for miles uh-huh. with Your advice host. number one. Miles Manjinori. I thought we just this time um, cool it on down a little bit with a little scat. <laughs> I'm dreaming of an advice wish list just a couple things to do There'll be candles and women and beers and swimming when you get the advice you need. It's advice that'll go. I gotta think of the <laughs> advice. <laughs> Picture frames. Hang on. I gotta okay. think of the. Um... Just take your time. It's fine. Yeah, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Kind of fucking shit. 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 Poop. 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 And then it's. And then you take that. Oh, here we go. Do you want your house to be fresh? Yes. Do you want your days to be new? So badly. Okay. Memories are neither created nor destroyed. Get Memories? A new Get a Unless new- you're a girl freaking doing the same shit. Did you say memories? I or- want you to take a look at your house. Okay. Now triple it. Oh, whoa. Rearranging furniture is for people with good backs. Not me. Not me. But what you can do is ah, move that art. Oh, if okay. you're looking to refresh your space and make it feel new, the freaking mercury is in repro gaze and you're going to want to move around the yard in your house so that it's in new places. Okay. I'm on to, I'm in I'm into this. Art, mirrors, things that are hanging on your wall. Art, you can move mirrors, that things stuff hanging around. on your wall. You can move it easy Zach. You can move <laughs> you can move things around and it's going to make your house feel refreshed. We recently did this to our living room and it was like, "Oh shit, we had like a bunch of stuff in our bedroom that was like cool pieces of art, but now it's paired with different stuff in our living room and it makes it feel refreshed and cool and new and vibey." And I was like, oh, that's a nice way that like it doesn't really cost anything. You just are moving the stuff around in your house. And it's a nice way to say, hey, we're in a new season. And that season is the season of pleasing. Yeah. No notes. Move your art around. Move that and, shit. If any, and then if you guys need any art, I've got so much art that I don't have on you, the walls. Uh, what art you got? You have art? I have so much. You're giving it away? 
I would love for someone to come take some. Well, I need right. some art. What I art you got? I asked um, first. Okay. I got some. I, I no, got, he's rich. I got some cool <laughs> stuff. I got. I got some cool stuff. I'll. I'll take some pics of some stuff. I'd like. I'm looking for more stuff. If you want any Chicago stuff, potentially, I, like I got you. lots of stuff that's Chicago, and it's cool. Mm-hmm. It's just like yeah. it doesn't really fit with our house's vibe, and they're like, kind of, some of them are big. Yeah, and I'm like, they're too big. For, Ooh, for what I want. That's cool. I'm, yeah, I, that'd be cool. But there's some cool big stuff, but they're vertical type. That's cool. Not horizontal. That's type. fine. Not landscape. I, diagonal art portrait. That's the coolest art. There's been oh, I got some mirrors too, actually. If anybody's in the market for a new I mirror. Might, I could maybe use it. What kind of mirror you got? I guess it could be horizontal or vertical. Is it the type where you can see yourself in it? Is it the type Unless where you could lose yourself in it? Mm. Lose yourself in the music, the, the moment, the moment, you, you want to never let it go. Oh. You only get one, one shot, shot to not miss a chance to, to blow this mirror. The mirror. Comes once in a lifetime. Keith, his with the official <laughs> tripod theme song. If you want to listen to a podcast that you like, listen to this one, please. It helps us sell money to our advertisers. And then everyone goes, well, yeah, we like it. I guess we don't sell money to them. You yeah. sell money to the advertisers? Um, it's the tripod. Selling money. I'll see you, you guys. Think to, we I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think you can. People sell coming to the show. People you're sell coming. collectible coins. That's selling money. You're coming to the miles. I'll see you at the show. I'll see you at. And by the, the show, the baseball, baseball game. show. The baseball game. <laughs>